Hello, in this short video, I wanna talk a little bit about this coffee. This is Folgers 100% Colombian coffee. Folgers, since 1850. This is part of the Roast Master series. Great for French press and cold brew, interesting. So that is not how I made it. I made it here in this coffee maker, which is great by the way. This is a Black & Decker coffee maker. And I have a cup here of Folgers that I have just made with this great coffee maker. And this is great coffee. I'm just gonna take a sip here because it's really, really good. I just made it. Mm, that is some good coffee. It's Folgers. I'm gonna open this up. This has something called an aroma seal. So I'm gonna open this. That is the aroma seal. So it's been opened already. Let me just go ahead and show you. Yeah, look at that. That's some good coffee. Classic stuff, right? I'm just gonna give it a whiff. Ah, that smells so good. Here it talks a little bit more about the coffee. It says, for best brewing results, we recommend cold water. So for one serving, you use one tablespoon of Folgers. For 10 servings, you use half a measuring cup. Store in a cool, dry place. This canister makes up to 90 suggested strength, six fluid ounce servings. So uh, when I made the coffee here just now, I didn't really I didn't really measure it. I just put a bunch in there and it came out really good. Um, I think I put too much coffee in though because this is a uh, medium roast coffee. And so I think I've essentially made it a dark coffee because it's really strong. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's it, okay. You can still tell it's a medium roast, but it's stronger than it should be. I think I put a little bit too much in. So, if you want a strong coffee, you can make it stronger by adding more to your coffee maker. Now, this is being stored in a very interesting place. Let me show you. So, I am keeping this in the freezer. That's right. So, works okay so far, so good. Now, I'm not sure if this is the best way to store your coffee, but it's certainly a way to do it. So you can certainly put it in the freezer if you want. Um, so yeah, again, you don't have to. Um, you can easily just put this in the pantry and you know it's not gonna be an issue because of the aroma seal. I should mention that the aroma seal does actually work, right? This coffee smells amazing. Look at that, let's smell it one more time. Mmm, just smells incredible, yeah. Really good coffee. I think this is a good coffee for anyone who is just looking for some regular coffee. Um, again, here it talks about uh, French press and cold brew. Um, yeah, I, I think it's great for everything, right? Again, I just made it here in this drip coffee maker. I'm gonna have a little bit more here. And I'm drinking this with no sugar, no milk, nothing, and it's delicious. Ah, yeah. And again, you can tell it's a medium roast, but I think I made mine a little bit too strong. Overall, this is really good quality, affordable coffee. It's been around since 1850. That's a very long time. I think if you're looking for some good coffee, check it out. Good luck and take care.